Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So today I'm gonna to be talking about how I passed boards to become a CRNA. I'm gonna be talking about how I studied. I actually passed in 100 questions, which is the minimum amount of questions that you can have. And I was very excited about this because when I took the NCLEX to become an RN, I did not pass in the minimum amount of questions. I had somewhere around 100 questions. I don't remember exactly how many, but I really think that I studied much better this time throughout my program and also at the end when I was preparing for boards. So I wanted to share with you how I studied because maybe it'll help you as well. I used three different resources to study throughout my program and to prepare for boards. So I had Apex Anesthesia, Prodigy Anesthesia, and Valley Anesthesia. Those are all review courses and my school only required Prodigy, but I bought Apex because it was highly suggested by basically everybody I know in the anesthesia world. And then Valley, my school strongly suggested us go to the Valley Review, that's an in-person review. And they also gave us the time off to go to that from clinical and class. So I utilized that and went to Valley as well, which was much closer to boards. And I'll talk about that. I feel like I did my studying in three different ways looking back. So the first way was by studying throughout my entire program, like I was preparing for boards. So what I did was I reviewed the information from the lecture and our reading. But in addition to that, I went into the board prep courses such as Apex and Prodigy. I didn't have Valley yet at this time and I did their modules as well. And when I finished their modules, I did their practice tests and all their practice questions. So I really think that this helped me get in the mindset of answering board style questions and also just getting used to applying my critical thinking, answering these higher level questions using the reasoning and all the knowledge I had gained. So I feel like that was extremely helpful. And when I started studying for boards, I didn't feel like I had a lot of catching up to do on understanding the question format because I'd been doing it this whole time. Also, the more questions you expose yourself to, the more chance you have of answering similar questions right in the future, because they can only ask something a certain amount of ways. You can't really reword something too many times. So if you've answered a lot of similar questions and then they ask you a question on boards, you can think back to those previous questions you answered and usually you can draw that knowledge to figure out what the answer is gonna be for the question they're asking you now. So basically, I highly suggest that while you're going through your program, you pretend the whole time that you're studying for boards and you use those board prep resources even if your school does not require them. A lot of schools don't require them, but I highly suggest you buy them with your own money. It is so worth it and to be able to go through all that and be familiar with it so at the end when you start studying, it's already in your mind and you've already seen it once is priceless. So after I finished all my didactic and I got into starting to studying for boards in our third year, I think that the next phase of my studying was that I went to the Valley Anesthesia Review course because that really kicked things off for me and got me in study mode and got me started on my board study plan. So Valley Anesthesia is a three-day course. I went to it in Raleigh, North Carolina. They basically go through everything that you learned in your CRNA program in three days. So it's like a very focused review. They go over the major important things and the confusing things. They explain the things that people are most commonly having trouble with in very easy to understand ways. So I felt like that was extremely helpful to go over everything right before I started studying so that it was all fresh on my mind. Valley also gives you a study plan for boards and you get materials when you go there so that you can use when you get home. Um, Valley's the only one that's not completely online. So Prodigy and Apex are completely online. Valley gives you actual materials you can write on and hold in your hand. So you get two books when you go. One is called the Valley Sweatbook and that is basically like all the textbooks combined into one binder with all the important information that you need to know. And I thought that was very helpful because it really deciphered everything for you. And then the next book is called The Memory Master, which is practice questions and rationales so that you can practice all that and read about why you're getting them wrong or right. So after I got home from the Valley Anesthesia Review, it was February and I planned on taking my boards in May. So I started their review right away. Now keep in mind, I had already gone through Apex Anesthesia completely once while I was in my program and I'd been doing Prodigy along the way. So I got home, started Valley. I finished that in about two months because I did it after clinical and kind of slow. You could definitely finish it faster if you really wanted to. What I basically did over that two months was every day I assigned myself something different from Valley according to their study plan because they basically tell you how to schedule it out for yourself. And I really liked the book because I could like write in it and everything. It was a little bit different than doing stuff online. So I took all my notes, did all that, and then I moved on to the next stage of my studying. Oh, really quick, I just wanted to add the Apex workbooks because a lot of people ask if I did those. 
So I did a few of them because some of my classes required them, but that's not how I learn. Reading and rewriting is not exactly how I learn. So I didn't find them beneficial. So I didn't do the Apex workbooks other than what I was required to do. But some people in my class who learn by reading and writing, they did all of them and they said they were very helpful. So it really just depends on what your learning style is when deciding if you would benefit from them. Okay, so moving on to the next stage of my studying. So I had attended Valley in February and then in March and just the beginning of April is basically when I had finished their review. So I had moved on to doing practice questions the rest of the time. So all through April and then in the beginning of May when I was waiting to take my boards because I took them May 22nd, I did practice questions and read the rationales, which I also consider a method of studying because reading the rationales can be very time consuming. And sometimes if the rationale on the question isn't enough, you have to go into a book or go into another place to find what you need to know. Apex and Prodigy both have like simulation exams that are like boards. Valley did as well, but I had already done those and Valley doesn't have a gigantic question bank like how the online resources do. So I went to Apex and Prodigy and started scheduling out my practice questions. In the beginning, I was probably doing like three or 400 a day, which looking back, I think was a bit of overkill because it's hard to retain that much information but I was out of clinical and out of class because of COVID-19. So I had a lot of spare time. So I was doing extra studying and just getting a lot of questions done. I liked different things about Apex and Prodigy. So Prodigy looks more like boards. The way they format it and the way it looks is very similar to boards, like just the screen and the colors and everything. Apex is more interesting and aesthetically pleasing, which boards is not, but Apex has more pictures, colors, and I felt like their descriptions were more in depth. So while I did do a lot of Prodigy questions, I spent a lot of my time actually reviewing rationales and reading on Apex. One thing I highly suggest you do is take the domain exams on Apex. They are new and there's three of them and they're basically about special procedures and special populations and they were so helpful because they're different than any of the other simulation exams on any of the platforms. They're very high level and they incorporate a lot of stuff. I feel like honestly they were harder than what I had on board so I highly suggest taking those and reading the rationales because it draws like so many concepts together surgery, special populations, medications, which a lot of questions do, but it was just so thought provoking. So I really liked those exams. If you have time, definitely take them. People ask me which of the platforms was most like boards. And honestly, it's hard for me to tell because I did like so many questions from all different platforms. And when you go in and take a test like that, you're kind of using your subconscious to a certain extent. So you're like drawing from information that you're not exactly sure where you got it from sometimes. I feel like Apex was so high level that that was really helpful when I went to take boards and they had a lot of similar questions to boards like the hotspots, the drag and drops, the matching, the select all that apply. But Prodigy was more what boards actually looked like with like the calculator you can use and the setup of the screen and Valley was on paper. So obviously that wasn't very similar to boards in how it was presented, but the information was great and I was able to write and cross stuff out and things. So I thought that that was really good for my test taking strategy thought process. So I feel like they all had their benefits and I'm glad that I did all three. I know some people who just did Apex or some people who just did Valley. I don't know anybody who just did Prodigy, but I know people who passed who had just chose one or the other. Okay, sorry, it just got really bright. The light's changing a lot because there's clouds coming by, but I wanted to talk to you really fast about my scores on my practice exams before I took boards. Keep in mind this is going to be different for everybody but I wanted to tell you about how I did just because when I was taking it I was a little stressed out thinking my scores weren't high enough but I guess they were because I passed boards. Okay so on Apex I scored lower than any of the other ones I think because their questions are just a bit harder. Um, so on the domain exams I scored really low like in the 40s or 50s the first time I took them but reading all the rationales and reviewing everything really helped me so I feel like even though I scored low it was super helpful. On their simulation exams I scored in the 50s to 60s and then moving to Prodigy on their simulation exams I scored usually between 65 and 75. Valley I'm not really sure how I scored because I didn't do the math to figure out my score but I more used that to practice my test taking strategy and write things down and really think things out because I had done that in the beginning of my studying. But my point in telling you this is don't think you're going to be getting hundreds on your practice exams because you're not and the whole point is to learn and when you get a question wrong honestly I think it helps you learn it more than when you get one right because when you get one right you just move on don't really think about it when you get one wrong usually you read the rationale and it's really stuck in your mind of why you had answered that question wrong so don't discuss so don't get discouraged when you're getting questions wrong because that's all part of the process and that is it for how i studied for boards 
I hope it was helpful for you. No matter what kind of boards you're studying for, you can apply the same concepts I used to your study plan. I feel like it was very helpful because when I studied for NCLEX, I really just crammed at the end and didn't do any pre-planning or prep or anything like that. And during my CRNA program, I had boards in mind the whole time. So it was much different and I felt much more prepared. If you're in CRNA school or you're a CRNA, let me know in the comments below which study platform that you preferred the most because I'm really curious and I think that viewers would like to see that as well. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because that helps my channel out. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great week. Mm -hmm.